Uh, this is part two of uh, reading 4.1. So this is still talking about Juno, and um, this is more, explaining more about what she is uh, foreseen and what she's, why she's in the Aeneas. So Metuwing, this is a particle modifying Juno, fearing that that refers to um, all the stuff we saw in the previous video towards the end about um, the Romans coming to destroy Carthage. So fearing that and uh, memoir, rem remembering, mindful uh, of the old war, Veteris Belli, that can be the Trojan War, Saturnia, um, the daughter of Saturn, subject. Uh, which first she waged, guess her at, at Troy, at uh, Corium, pro cardis ardi, on behalf of her dear Greeks. Nec duetiam causid arum fabrique dolore, hidrat animo, manet alta mente reportum, judiciam peridis preta qua injuria forma, as genus in viset rap iganimidis honores. Okay, which first she waged at Troy on behalf of the dear Greeks, nor yet, so not yet, had um, the causa, the causes of her anger, um, of her savage anger, and this, sorry, no, sorry, not yet had the causes of her anger and her savage sadness, I would quit the Lord, had they yet shaken or fallen out of her mind, animo, but they remained manet, repostum, stuck deep in her mind. And the subject of this monet is the Eudicium. So the judgment of Paris, the judgment of Paris, Dicium Paridis, remains stuck deep in her mind. And que the inuria, the injury of her spretai forma of her rejected beauty remains stuck in her mind. So the que is connecting Eudicium and Inuria. So the injury of her rejected form and the judgment of Paris remains stuck in her mind, and the Genus and Wiesum, and the hated race, that's the Trojans, and the honors, the honores, Alorathi Ganymede, so like stolen in Ganymede. Ganymede was this um, Trojan young man whom Juno, Jupiter uh, was very fond of, and he came down and stole Ganymede and made him his cupbearer. So she was mad because she thought that Jupiter liked Ganymede more than her. As always, she is mad about that. So um, lots of things that she's mad about. Um, and it all kind of comes down on Aeneas, none of which is Aeneas' fault, by the way. Uh, he did not, the judgment of Paris is not his fault. He did not reject her beauty like Paris did. Um, he is Trojan, he can't, he can't help that, nor is he Ganymede, so he gets kind of the brunt of all this progression of Juno's. His akinse super yaktatus aequore toto, toyas reliquias danom matque in mitis aquili, archibate longe latio motos que per annos, erabant acti fatis mari omnia perca. Tantai modus erat Romanum under Hagen. All right, so still talking, talking about uh, Juno. Still, she is a kinsa. She is angered over this, um, and she has the verb here is archebot. She has kept the Troyas, the Trojans, Yaktatos, um, tossed over the Aquarius to, to the whole sea, and she has kept the. The Liquias Danaum, the leftovers of the Trojans and the leftovers of savage Achilles in the Mitis Achilles, just kept them far off Latio from Latio, Italy. And they have been airing Multos Quaper Annos throughout many years, Actifatis, driven by fates, Maria Omnia Kirkum, around the whole sea. This, by the way, Maria Omnia Kirkum. You, Virgil has inverted the order of the words. Typically in Latin, you would have kirkum and then the object of the preposition, mardi omnia, after it. But Virgil flips this, it's called an, an, an anastrophe. 
Uh, and again, just kind of to kind of catch your ear off guard and make him, oh, that's kind of cool. Make him comment on poetry of it. <clears throat> so then we have the final line of this introduction. Kantai Moldus Erdat Romanum Kandaregen. So such was the Moldus, such was the struggle, the weight, the importance, all that word, kind of the good and the bad side of that comes into Molus. So such was the weight or the importance Kandare to found the Romanum Gentum, the Roman race. And there you have it. First 33 lines of the Indian.